You need to stop dealing with the bullshit and start cutting your hair. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so it's been a week since I had the perm. And this is what it looks like now. You can tell that the curls have loosened up quite a bit since then. It's really hot right now, so it's making my hair look a lot worse than it usually looks. The, the, the foundation is getting there. It's definitely a lot better compared to last week. You can see there's signs of hair growth over here. My hair actually grows kind of fast. But yeah, from the title, you can already tell that I'm going to cut it. If you guys don't know already, I hate getting my hair cut by somebody else because my history with barbers and hairstylists was almost never good. It was never in the positive. It was always negative. So I had enough during COVID and I decided I'm gonna cut it myself I just save the trouble for myself and the barber or stylist save the time save the money and all that and that's what I'm gonna do in this video my curls look a lot better now but obviously there are other things that I need to fix cuz it's kind of wild you know I gotta trim some of this shit off also like oh I actually do have a trip tomorrow you know so I might as well spiffy myself up a little bit before I head out and I'm also gonna share you why you should cut your own hair while I demonstrate how good of a job I do to myself. But before that, let me just show you the tool that I got lined up that I'm gonna be using. The first one is this three-sided mirror. Your best friend right here. I can't cut my hair with a singular mirror. I need my freaking three sides to get all the freaking angles of your head and all that, you know? It was like 70 bucks. It's a little expensive, but it, honestly, it was worth it for me. There's probably better options out there nowadays. This is just an old mirror that I had and it's still in pretty good shape. So might as well use it, you know? I got my little kit here, my little bag. Pretty standard. It has like a whole cape. Here's your usual clippers over here. This one's more recent, but I bought an electric shaver. Right here i felt like if i'm ever gonna be doing like any more clean styles i might as well just buy an electric shaver so i spent like 20 bucks on that last but not least because i rock longer hair i need scissors both thinning scissors because i got thick ass hair and regular trimming scissors we're gonna be using that to debulk this hair and make it more tame right so let's get down to it before that let me show you my cat yes sir I usually cut my hair shirtless, but for the video, I know, I'm kind of shy, so, you know. Here's the reference photo that I'm gonna try and imitate, but I'm gonna modify it to make it look better on my head. Maybe starting from here, going all the way down, and it just cuts off around the ears, and then we'll have a little bit of back. To put it simply, we're just going to do a regular disconnected undercut. First reason I started cutting my own hair is because some people are just bad at haircuts bro i just figured that just wasn't worth my money and my time to go to make the drive and all that just to have something that you're not satisfied with first rule of thumb if you're trying to shape out your hair always flick out flick out So the back is a little more tricky because you can't see it. But honestly, this is more of a repetition type of thing. So the more you do it, obviously you're gonna get better at it. Boom. All right, so I finished the cut. Not even that bad, man. Turn around. So one issue that I always have at the top, especially on this side of my head, it doesn't like to curl way of the way that I want it to be. See this part here, this shape, it curves up here. And it does the S curl, and then there's another S curl. That's what it does. So we're gonna take our thinning shears. We're gonna go around this corner here. We're gonna thin out that part so we can make it accentuate the curls flaring out this way, you know? We're not gonna touch the bangs, and we're just gonna pop. Boom. So we're doing, we're focusing on the little stuff. The second reason why I chose to cut my own hair was because I've outgrew the fade phase. So I would rock like a regular fade, a little longer on the top, obviously not as long as this, but it was practically all I knew, right? So I didn't have much knowledge when it comes to haircuts and I didn't exactly know what matches or what I feel super confident in, like what type of hairstyles and all that. But fast forward, I wanted to try the whole undercut thing when BTS started popping off and all that. I practically wanted to change hairstyles, so I needed the free control in order to do them disregard the other clips i'm kind of just blabbing all right <laughs> it looks uh, it looks a little better now full on hair action over here the fade's not even that bad oh my god now i'm just gonna shower real quick get myself all cleaned up and all that and then we're just gonna go cut to when i'm done this is after the shower i put in curling cream and hair clay it's definitely a lot more tame now compared to before here's the front view 
and then the back I don't even know if you can see it tell me this isn't a good job at all come on the third reason I started cutting my own hair is practically convenience so I rock a disconnected undercut it's not that hard of a haircut to do honestly the haircut's not even that hard to do and everybody's kind of trash at doing that for some reason I might as well just do it myself save all the time and money to get there to pay for the cut and the trouble too if anything bad happens so I just started out by using one clip and shaving all around and as time went on I started learning how to fade myself just little easy hacks and techniques to help enhance the style of my do right <laughs> I also want to apologize for this messy room again I am packing for tomorrow I'm gonna be heading out to Sacramento tomorrow but here's the haircut Grab the scissors, grab the clippers. If you're very picky about your hair and you don't want to have so much trouble going all the way to different places and have different things going on, just start doing it yourself. You don't need a license to know how to cut hair, okay? All you gotta do is just understand the dimensions of your head and how you want your style to be and just like really have an analyzing eye for what you want, right? If you enjoyed this hair cutting video and you want me to make one about how I learned how to cut hair, just let me know in the comments. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys how I do it, what types of stuff that I learned and all that. I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm gonna be cleaning this room up, packing things up for tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which I will be in the mainland. Kiss you.